Welcome to Klune Construction Site Specific Orientation for the Prime Data Center LAX project. This orientation is a requirement prior to working on this site. The Klune Safety 101 must be completed prior to completing this site specific orientation. If you have not completed the Klune Safety 101, please scan the QR code shown and to begin the Safety 101 process. Once finished with the 101, you can begin the site specific orientation process. All employees must have received the Safety 101 sticker as well as the site-specific orientation sticker. Both stickers must be visible on the employee's hard hat at all times. All visitors must check in at the Clune field office prior to moving throughout the site. This includes delivery drivers, project managers, and business agents. Please keep in mind that you are responsible for your visitors and must ensure they wear all required PPE and that they are escorted at all times. Foremen are required to attend all foreman meetings and morning huddles. These meetings are a great opportunity to bring up concerns or get ahead of upcoming work that may impact others. It is important that each of us remember that there will never be a task that is worth getting hurt. It is critical that we take the necessary time before the task to ask ourselves what can go wrong and how can we prevent it. The Clune team is here to assist with the planning and coordination of any task in question to ensure the safety all involved. If at any point you experience an injury on this project, whether minor or major, you must notify your supervisor and the Clune team immediately. It is critical that the injured individual receives the immediate care that may be needed. All individuals working at the Prime LAX project must wear specific PPE at all times including a hard hat, high visibility color shirt with a minimum four sleeves or a high visibility safety vest, hard-toed safety boots, safety glasses, as well as work pants. Some tasks may require additional PPE such as gloves or respirators. All PPE must be worn unless in the break area or off-site. This project will utilize site docks for all required paperwork. Site docks allows the trades to complete all weekly and daily paperwork electronically with the use of a phone or tablet. The foreman of every trade will be required to submit a daily hazard analysis prior to starting work each day. The DHA will cover what the tasks will be that day as well as the hazards that may be present for those specific tasks. It will then detail what mitigations will be in place to protect the crew performing the work and those around the work area. Any hot work permits that may be needed will also be completed with the use of site docs. Please scan the project QR codes to get familiar with the process. Should you experience any issues with the platform, please bring them to the Clune team's attention right away. Foremen serve as the competent person for their crews and must always be present while work is being performed. As mentioned, foremen must be present at all foreman meetings which take place weekly on Mondays at 7 a.m. It is important that the foremen include their crews in the DHA process so that all are aware of the hazards and mitigations in place. Each trade partner must have frequent safety audits completed by their safety teams and share these audits with the Clune team for review. This will assist in us all working together to ensure the overall safety of the project. Daily housekeeping is a requirement and work areas must be cleaned prior to moving to the next work area. Sweeping compound must be used whenever sweeping and all debris, trash must be placed in the project dumpster and not left on the floor. Here we see most of the critical site rules for this project. Alcohol and drug use are not permitted, and tobacco products are only permitted in the designated smoking areas on the project. Any tasks requiring the use of a ladder must be performed with a platform or podium ladder as a frame ladders are not permitted on the site. This project requires 100% tie-off in all aerial lifts, including scissor lifts. Any trade partner that opens an excavation is responsible to ensure that red pennant flagging is placed around the excavation until it has been backfilled and is no longer open. Next, we ask that all individuals participate in the DHA process prior to each shift. All high-risk activities must have gone through Clune's HRA process including a jaw as one of the many steps. These activities must be thoroughly planned prior to the activities starting in the field. This planning process typically starts three to four weeks in advance of the scheduled activity. With these only being the most critical and common site rules, it is important that each of your teams review the Prime Data Center HSE plan, so they become aware of all site-specific rules and guidelines that are in addition to the Clune guidelines as well as the state and federal guidelines.
This project has a strict electronics policy which states that cell phone use on the project is restricted to the safety personnel, foreman, and the designated representatives for each trade partner. Cell phone usage while driving or operating machinery within the project will not be tolerated. If you must take a call while on the site, do so in a safe location. Never walk and talk or text at the same time. Finally, earbuds or headphones are not permitted while working on this project. Clune has an extensive HRA process to ensure a safe completion of all high-risk activities that will be required on this project. This process is broken into three levels that all play an equally important step in the process. This process begins with identifying the high-risk activities that are required for the project and begin to establish a management plan for the identified activities, which takes us into level 1. Level 1 includes a written plan for the task which can potentially consist of a job hazard analysis or method of procedure. During the second level the clune team and the performing trade partner will review the plan in the field to capture any potential modifications to the plan that are necessary. Level 2 typically takes place one to two weeks prior to the task taking place. Level 3 takes place on the day of just prior to beginning the activity. This includes one final meeting in the field with the clune team and all that are involved with performing the activity. This provides the opportunity to ensure all are aware of the process in an effort for safe completion. Here we see the emergency procedures for the project. It is critical that each of these steps are followed in the event of an emergency. Please work with your crew or foreman to verify that everyone understands the emergency procedures so that all may be accounted for if such event were to occur. Here we see the site logistics plan for this project. This logistics plan will be updated and shared as conditions throughout the site change. Identified on this plan are the locations of the trade partner restrooms, clune field office, construction dumpsters, designated smoking area, break areas, as well as the locations for fire extinguishers on the site. Also, emergency exits are identified on this plan. As we can see, it is important that we are all familiar with this logistics plan due to overwhelming size of the space as well as the important information that is covered. Incident reporting is taken very seriously at Clune Construction, and this project is no different. All incidents and near misses must be reported to the Clune team immediately. All incident reports must be submitted to the Clune team within 24 hours of the incident taking place. This includes incidents involving injury or property damage. In an effort to avoid incidents on the project it is critical that we all understand that safety is each of our responsibilities. Any unsafe acts or conditions should be reported to the Clune team right away so they can be immediately addressed. Lastly, Clune has a zero tolerance for any acts of harassment, discrimination, and retaliation of any kind. These acts are grounds for disciplinary action including permanent removal from the project. Clune requires all trade partners to submit a SDS inventory list of materials or chemicals they intend to use on the project. This list is required prior to starting work on the project. The safety data sheet information for each chemical and material can be found by scanning the QR code that can be found on the Clune Emergency Evacuation Plan that is posted throughout the project. Before working with any chemical, it is important you review and understand the SDS information of that chemical. If you need any assistance locating this information, please contact the Clune Field Team. The Clune Field Team performs weekly and frequent safety walks where site observations are completed. Clune also participates in monthly safety walks with the Prime Data Center Safety Team. The safety representative from each trade partner will be required to attend the monthly PDC safety walks. We will also have QR codes posted throughout the project that will allow each of to complete a site observation report. These observations can either be positive or negative and remain anonymous as they are reviewed. The Clune team encourages each of you to complete the safety observations as often as possible. These audits and observation reports are an excellent tool that allows the project to get ahead of trends as well as recognize positive behavior. Please do not hesitate to reach out to a member of the Clune team should there be any questions. Clune has established the following disciplinary action to ensure compliance with our safety guidelines the following violations will be grounds for immediate discharge, discipline of all personnel gross negligence of safety and health rules, regulations, repeated violations, or the refusal to follow safety and health rules, regulations. Fighting, physical contact, horseplay or sleeping on the job theft possession and or under the influence of drugs or alcohol willful destruction of property possession of weapons, 
firearms, explosive devices or contraband giving any inappropriate unwanted verbal or physical advances to the public or co-workers, or any violation of Clune's sexual harassment policy steps for disciplinary action. Verbal Warning Safety 101 video serves as your verbal warning written warning. A written warning will be issued for violations cited final warning, permanent removal from the project and potential removal from all Clune projects depending on the severity of the action. Steps will be skipped for disciplinary action Disciplinary action may be initiated by any Clune project team member. Copies of contractor disciplinary notices will be sent to the Clune Safety Department. Clune employees and its trade partners are held to the highest standards. One of the most important standards being that we must address issues or concerns brought to us immediately. As the old saying goes, if you see something, say something. We ask that you strive to always do the right thing. We ask that prior to performing any task, ask yourself, if I don't perform this task safely, what is the worst potential outcome to my safety or others around me? Your safety and the safety of all that are working on this project is a core Kloon value. Thank you for your participation in this orientation. If there are any questions or concerns, please direct them to the Kloon field team. Please see the Clune team member joining you for this orientation to receive your sticker.